Hi, good day everyone. This video is about permutations, case number 2. According to our previous discussion, we define permutation as an arrangement of things or items in a definite or particular order. This time, the number of permutations of n things taken r at a time is given by npr is equals to n factorial divided by quantity of n minus r factorial wherein r is less than the value of n. So quick review, again according to our previous discussion, if we encounter this kind of problem wherein we have this value of n, so automatically we will use the concept of factorial. Okay, so let's say we have this permutation of 3 taken 3 at a time since we have this common set of values automatically this is equals to 3 factorial and that is equals to 3 times 2 times 1 or simply equals to 6 okay this time let's try to solve some problems with use of permutation wherein the values of n and r are not equal so for our problem number 1 for example we're asked to compute permutation of 7 taken 4 at a time. So number 1 is, let's list down the values of n and r. So according to our given problem, the value of n is 7 and the value of r is equals to 4. After that, let's plug in all of the values of n and r to our given formula. So we have npr or 7p4 is equals to n factorial. We have 7 factorials all over n minus r factorial. We have 7 minus 4 factorials. And this is equals to 7 factorial. And then let's simplify. 7 minus 4 factorial is equals to 3 factorials. And after that, let's simplify. So we have 7 factorial and that is equals to 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3, 2, and 1. And the value of 3 factorial is equals to 3 times 2 times 1. Since they share a common set of values or factors, just cancel out those numbers. So we have 3, 2, and 1. Therefore, we have 7 times 6 times 5. Okay, just simplify the set of values. 7 times 6 times 5. And that is equals to 210. So the answer is 210. Next, for our problem number 2, for example, we're asked to compute permutation of 8 taken 5 at a time. Again, we have this value of n as 8 and the value of r is equals to 5. Same procedure, let's plug in all of the values of n and r to our given formula. We have 8, p5 is equals to n factorial. We have 8 factorials all over 8 minus 5 factorials. And that is equals to 8 factorials all over 8 minus 5 is 3. We have 3 factorials. Okay, so let's simplify this. So 8 factorial is equals to 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial since they share a common set of factors as 3 factorial. So just cancel out 3 factorials and then just multiply all of our remaining values okay so we have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 and times 4 and that is equals to 6000 okay that is equals to 6720 so that is our final answer okay 8p5 is equals to 6720 now, let's try to solve some word problems involving permutations. Case number two. So, for problem number three, um, in how many ways can letters of the word smiley, or S-M-I-L-E-Y, be arranged taken four letters at a time? So, this time, let's use the same concept. So, since we're asked to determine the possible um, ways, or um, re let's rearrange all of the letters here with the use of this word smiley. So our first task is to count the number number of words in that word. So we have um, S M I L E Y. So we have six set of letters. Automatically, the value of n for this particular problem is equals to six. Okay, and this time we need to take four letters at a time. Therefore, the value of R 
is equals to 4. Next, let's plug in all of the values of n and r to our given formula and then let's simplify this. Okay? So this is equals to 6p4. So we will use this given um, notation. So that is equals to 6 factorials divided by 6 minus 4 factorial and that is equals to 6 factorials divided by 6 minus 4 okay let's subtract 6 minus 4 is equals to 2 so we have 2 factorials so 6 factorial is equals to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 and times 1 all over 2 factorial which is equals to 2 times 1 let's cancel out common numbers or terms or factors and then let's simplify so this is equals to 6 times 5 times 4 and times 3 so that is equals to 360 okay therefore we have 360 ways to arrange the word smiley with the use of four letters at a time next for problem number four okay for number four we have matthew mark luke john and peter are in a competition now the question is, how many possible ways of first, second, and third places can came out in this competition? So according to our given problem, since we have um, five participants for this given problem, automatically, the value of n is equals to 5. So that is Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Peter. Now, according to our given question, we're asked to determine the possible ways of first, second, and third this time the value of r is equals to 3 we have first second and third okay so let's use the set of values and then let's apply our formula so we have npr or simply 5 p3 is equals to n factorial or 5 factorial divided by n minus r factorial so that is 5 minus 3 factorials so that is equals to 5 factorial so let's subtract the set of values 5 minus 3 is equals to 2 factorial so we have 2 factorial okay next 5 factorial is equals to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 all over 2 factorial which is equals to 2 times 1 again let's cancel out common factor we have 2 and 1 therefore we have 5 times 4 times 3 so 5 factorial all over 2 factorial is equals to 5 times 4 times 3 and that is equals to 60 okay therefore we have 60 possible ways to um write okay um first second and third places for this competition next for our last problem Problem number five: In how many ways can two first um can the first two positions in a race with five participants be filled if there are no ties? Okay, so again, same procedure. Let's identify the value of n and the value of r for this particular problem. Since the particip participants for this um race is five, okay, automatically the value of n is equals to five. Now, uh, we are asked to determine the ways, okay, number of ways we're in first two positions in the race be filled. So first two positions, therefore, the value of R is equals to 2. So we will use 5P2 or permutation of 5 taken 2 at a time. So let's use this one. So let's plug in all of the values of N and R. So we have 5P2 is equals to n factorial or 5 factorials all over n minus r which that is 5 minus 2 factorial so let's simplify this this equals to 5 factorials all over 5 minus 2 let's subtract this 5 minus 2 factorial is equals to 3 factorials okay and that is equals to 5 factorial is equals to 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 3 factorial so let's cancel out 3 factorial therefore 5 factorial all over 3 factorial is equals to 5 times 4 or equals to 20 so that is our final answer